Hi, I'm Glenn, Cedavana Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team. Today's Monday, uh, May the May the 3rd, and yours truly decided to do a little mixing it up here. Wanted to go hit Betty Lakes, just right down the road from me, and give it a shot with the fly rod, the little four-weight fly rod. But this time, we're going to go with a foam grasshopper like we normally do, a variant that I like dying. Um, but then I said, well... Let's just, uh, instead of shaping it like the grasshopper pattern that we've been doing, all I do is just basically take a rectangle of some two millimeter foam, closed cell foam, uh, a hook and some thread and some super glue, put it on there and well, gave it a shot and was able to catch a few fish. So do check out the video. Okay, uh, we don't have uh, much time. We've got a tornado watch actually. So I'm gonna bring the uh, four weight fly rod and the uh, little grasshopper well actually it's more like a triangle shaped deal we just want to see if we can just put a real quick fly together that doesn't really have a shape to it other than that rectangle and we're gonna see if we can get something to hit okay let's see what we can do here all right I think I see some beds here so maybe we might get one to hit oh there's a hit oh he swiped it I think it's a bluegill Got him. Yep, bluegill. All right. All right, cool. It's good to know that uh, just have to have general shape. Actually, more of a rectangular. And it worked. Right there. So, good, good stuff. Again, it's a rectangular shape. And it just got a little form fitting there with the thread but other than that nothing special so looks like you can get away with it you don't have to make it all fancy all right let's see if we can get another one before this uh weather event hits us there's a hit oh missed them i think i see another one kind of hanging out there there he goes yeah he went for it ah missed them Let's do it again. Got him. That one hit. All right, these are some nice size ones too. Not bad on the little four weight. All right, it's working. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get another one. I see the whole bed out here. Let's see if we can get another one to hit. Let's go back out here. I saw a big one on down earlier. Here he comes. He looked at it. Came up and looked at it, but he sw or turned away. Another one looking at it. Got him. Oh, that's a bass. Right. Bass went for it. All right. Not bad. Let's go bring this guy in. <clears throat> the rectangular foam something. <laughs> All right, nice. That's a turtle. Gotcha. All right, looks like just letting it sit still is what they like. Right, another nice one. Nice. Ah, missed that one. Getting more hits by just letting it sit. There he goes. Yeah, there's a whole school of them here, or a bed of them. Nice. Another one. All right, let's see if we can get another one to hit over here. Looked at it, kind of swiped it. There he goes. All right, that one committed finally. Hit it twice. All right, Bluegill City. So it seems like, at least for now, you really don't need to 
shape it much. It was just a rectangular foam piece and I just tied it on there and it made that shape seem to work. Ah, swiped it. I saw him. Went for it again. Just keep working this bed here, or these beds. There's another hit. These are look smaller. Let's go back over here. Got them. Not as big as the other ones. Still fun. Got the little uh, duckies here, wanting to play. All right, well, it worked out really nice. Got the uh, little four weight or two weight, no, four weight, on the four weight, four weight reel on a four weight rod with the rectangular shaped foam. And the cool thing is, is, well, you don't really have to be fancy with these, uh, with these little foam variants. All right, next time we'll catch you all, and good luck, good fishing.